everybody, it's Rob here from Rovetics Media, and today we're gonna have a little quick tutorial, but it's a powerful one. We're gonna show you how to set up your own smart TV channel on Fire TV, you know, those great little sticks that everybody's got now. We're gonna show you how to turn your YouTube channel into an app on Fire TV for free with zero code. So that's pretty cool. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to creator.amazon.com and check out Amazon Creator. This is a tool that they use to build Fire TV apps in minutes. It's literally the easiest way to build a Fire TV app or a smart TV app, period. This is a lot easier to use than even Roku Direct Publisher if you have any experience in that. So to get started, we're just gonna click the Get Started Now button. And once inside, you'll see some options now. If you use our WP Smart TV plugin for Roku Direct Publisher, you can find out about our tutorial on how to add Fire TV Creator support to WP Smart TV. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna be using YouTube. So when you come in, you'll have a selection. We're gonna select YouTube. So we're gonna need our username or channel ID. That's really easy to pick up. We're just gonna go over to our YouTube channel and you know, just go in and click my channel. And then you're just gonna look in the URL and we're gonna see this where it says channel slash. Right after the slash, we're just gonna take this number and copy it. So we'll go back to Fire TV Creator and we're gonna put in our channel ID and it will spin for a second and it will tell you if it's valid or not. Now, if it comes back um, invalid, make sure you double check this. So we're just gonna click create. So the first thing it's gonna do is bring up a preview where you can just kind of scroll through and check it out. And if we go up here and you'll see, we'll have our playlists and everything ready for you automatically. You don't have to set any of that up inside the app. And if you want to play around with the graphics and the logos, we just click this little edit button. And once inside, you'll see we can change the uh, logo image, the background image, the background color, uh, play around with the header images and colors, the title bar and navigation buttons and uh, colors the opacity and the font theme. And you can also go up here to current theme and change it to one of the other ones. Now, if you create a theme, you can save it and use that theme across multiple apps, or you can use like the, the light theme or just the default theme. So when we're all ready, we're gonna to wanna to click save and we can save it as a new theme or save to existing theme. And when it says theme change, you're ready to go. You can preview it at this point and this will bring you in so you can you know, go back through and check everything out, make sure everything's good. And when you're done, you can click finish. If you have more changes to make, you can click edit. So we're gonna click finish and you'll see here we have the details of our channel. So this gives you the source, uh, we're using YouTube, channel ID, um, the test URL. You can share this with other people so they can come in and check out your app before it actually goes live. Um, and look for, you know, little glitches or videos that might not be playing properly or little things that you might not notice. And then when you're all ready to go, all we have to do is click publish. And this will submit it to Amazon. Their team will take a look at it, make sure that everything's good and approve it. And next thing you know, you'd be streaming on Fire TV sticks across the world. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. As always, if you want to know more about broadcasting to smart TV devices like Roku and Fire TV, come over to our website, rovidixmedia.com. We have uh, documentation for our plugins. We have tutorials. We have all kinds of great stuff there. And you can also download our premier plugin, WP Smart TV, for free in the WordPress plugin repository. So, And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter and get 10% off your next purchase in the plugins store. So thanks a lot. I'm Rob Davenport and we'll see you soon.